Need an escape from the daily grind? For your next family vacation, you could relax by the pool at this home in Port St. Lucie, Florida for $333 a night. Or watch the sunrise at this oceanfront condo in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for $507 a night. Or enjoy the view from the hot tub at this luxury chalet in Steamboat Springs, Colorado for $1325 a night. These rentals all big enough to share with another family. It's a popular travel trend as many look to give their wallets a break this spring. The average family of four now spends more than $4,500 on a vacation each year. But by buddying up at a home share, you can split the cost with others, saving you money while making priceless memories. Last year, Airbnb reporting family travel nearly doubled to 98% in the U.S. alone. And a recent Verbo survey finding this year, 57% of travelers plan to take trips more often with groups of friends. To rent a big, huge, you know, three-floor house or cabin would have not made financial sense. So splitting it with a family was perfect. Karen Ensley, her husband Will, and their daughter Sienna escaped to the great outdoors with some friends in the Pocono Mountains. After discussing their budgets, the two families searched Airbnb to find a spacious cabin within their price range. We wanted to make sure we had enough space so that the two families could be together but separate. Ensley says they took in the sights and the savings, as the outdoor toys included with the rental provided entertainment. The families also split the grocery bill. It ends up being cheaper than a hotel. But when vacationing, the phrase, the more the merrier, doesn't always apply. Travel preparedness expert Cheryl Nelson says before booking a shared space, discussing the details can help ensure everyone goes and comes back as friends. What about if you're traveling with another family on a shared vacation? What are some tips to make it out of that <laughs> intact? There's got to be some house rules that you set. Are there quiet hours? Agree on that. What about pets? Don't bring your dog if somebody else is bringing their cat. And kids, how are the kids going to play? Talk about the budget, how much space you need, and if you want to split the cost per family or per person. Nelson even suggests assigning rooms ahead of time. A lot of the times there's only one, maybe two master suites in the house. You don't want everybody fighting over that when they get there. Other topics to consider, how to split food costs, how much time to spend together and apart, sleep habits, and as Ensley learned, who does the chores? If one family's cooking, maybe the other one cleans that day and, and you kind of switch back and forth. When considering a home rental, Nelson says make safety a priority. Only rent from verified host. Read all the reviews about that property. You can also check out the surrounding area by entering the address on a street view map. And one more tip, you can see the recent serious crimes there if you put the address into crimemapping.com. What are some red flags you should look for in a listing? If they don't provide any sort of picture of a doorway or external pictures, that might raise a red flag. Nelson shows us her first safety check. Does the rental have a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide alarm? You can also bring your own. This one's portable. All you do is plug it into the wall. She then uses a flashlight to look for hidden cameras. Ideally, I'd close the blinds, lights would be off. And as I'm lounging, I would just start pointing this at vents. If you see anything reflecting back at you, there might be a hidden camera in there. And she checks drawers for sharp objects and drugs or chemicals. Tips to keep your home share travels full of good, clean family fun. <laughs> And if you do plan to share a rental with someone you don't know, maybe you're renting a room, make sure your bedroom door has a lock. Yeah. By the way, Nelson recommends traveling with certain items. For one, this door stop alarm, right? So this oh. you put right underneath the door. So if anyone tries to open it, hmm. it depresses this Great. and a very loud alarm My wife's going to use that tonight. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. right. That'd be good for the kids. <laughs> There's also this, which is a portable door lock, which I had not heard of, but it's very easy to use. You actually just slide it onto the door jam oh. and then put this little part in. So if you're not sure about the, the front door locks mm -hmm. on that home. And then finally, this is a good one, whether you're traveling or just for everyday use, a personal alarm, which, you know, if you, you need to, you're in a jam, you press a button or you pull a pin it. It and it makes a really loud, loud sound. Yeah, wow. super really loud. Interesting. I yeah. So what are some popular pop, uh, locations right now? It, really interesting. So Port St. Lucie, Florida, according to Airbnb. Really? There's a place called Noonan, Georgia, and Rockwell, Texas. These are popular and affordable destinations for families here in the U.S. Huh. And think about it. There are so many awesome towns and places to visit right here in our own country. Sure. Yeah. So check I agree. them out.
I think one of the things if you rent with another family is to establish there's only one master bedroom. Oh, yep. you have Who's to figure that? that out. That's Who's what we getting? were just yeah. saying. Maybe the person who booked it. Or, uh, that's what I think. Right? But sort it, it out before you yeah. get there. Or maybe you pay a little more if you get the nicer room with the balcony or whatever. Sure. Or find a house that has like two similar exactly. size rooms. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Good advice. Good All stuff, right. Vicky. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Make sure you like the family and the kids. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there you go. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.